Hello everyone, this is Black Queen Taylor, and I am here to do a reading for Libra. Libra, this is your monthly reading for the month of September 2023. So Libra, please keep in mind that the reading, it may or may not resonate with you. Some parts of the reading might resonate, other parts of the reading might not. As well, keep in mind that time is fluid, so this reading can manifest in September. It can manifest later on down the line of time after September. Or this present reading could be past energy for you. If this present reading is past energy for you, then there might be answers or closure for you in this present reading that pertains to your past situation or circumstance. So, um, Libra, I did get messages for you during the pre-shuffle, um, before the pre-shuffle too. Um, Libra, um, I was reminded earlier today, or should I say earlier yesterday, because right now, today is Saturday and it's like three in the morning. Um, I remember that I didn't do y'all reading. Um, it was like around maybe 11 or 10 o'clock yesterday night. I remember I didn't do y'all reading. So I'm like, dang, how did I forget to do Libras? I thought I was almost done because I have to do Sagittarius. Um, but Libra, I decided to do y'all's now. Um, so I remembered you guys around 11. It was like 10 o'clock a little bit earlier yesterday. And I actually got the energy or the strength to do it now. Do y'all read it now? Um, I went to bed and then I woke up out my sleep. So I'm doing y'all reading, reading now. It's like 3 in the morning. And I got the energy and the strength to just do it now. So I'm doing it now. And um, Libra, I want to say I got so happy in y'all energy. I just got so happy. Um... This could be especially for September Libras. Um, Libra, this could be you or somebody else. Somebody so happy um, to see you. Like Libra, somebody so happy to see you. Um, somebody's excited. Somebody's going to remember you. Libra, if somebody forgot about you in the past on September, it was an honest mistake. This person didn't do it on purpose. Um, but what, this person is going to remember you. Um yeah, so somebody might forget about you, whatever the situation is. This person honestly forgot. It was an honest mistake. Um, and then I heard the song, Happy Birthday to you. Happy Birthday. Happy Birthday. Yeah, I channeled that song. That's what I was hearing. So um, I don't know at the moment who sing that song, but I might um, post that song in the comment section and in the description box below. Because I did hear that um, during the pre-shuffle. So Libra, if you're a September Libra, um, that song might be playing. They might play that song at your birthday party or something like that. Um, Libra, I also picked up the energy. You could be dealing with another Libra and work, love, and life. And Libra, somebody is trying to decide how to interact with you or how to treat you. And this person is trying to decide whether they want to show you favoritism or give you some type of special treatment. And Libra, I think this person might decide to be fair and treat you um, as they treat, like, everybody else or something like that. Yeah, so I kind of picked up Libra. For some of you guys, you're dealing with another Libra. And this person is going to decide to treat you like they treat everybody else or be fair and not show you favoritism or something like that. Yeah, so Libra, you could have, like, a... Somebody probably prefer you. This could be family. This could be in business. It's like somebody prefers you <clears throat> or you're somebody's best. Or this could be your bestie or your lover or whoever. Or this could be in a professional arena. But Libra, the person that favors you, this person, for whatever reason, is going to choose to be fair to everybody involved instead of like showing you favoritism or something like that. But Libra, I picked up. They thought about it. They're thinking about it. They're going to be thinking about it in September. And when they make up their mind, it's like they're going to be fair to everybody involved and not show you favoritism. So those were the messages that I got. Um, who sang that song? Do Stevie Wonder sing that song? I think Stevie Wonder. Stevie Wonder. But, um... So, let me just go ahead and jump into the video. So, for your display cards, Libra, I'm going to pull you two cards from this deck. This is positive changes that you can expect in September. Um, Libra, keep in mind that these positive changes could can, can affect you directly or indirectly. 
Libra, somebody in your energy, or it's you. Libra, you could be trying to figure out somebody's birthday or somebody trying to figure out your birthday. Somebody could be having a hard time remembering who's who or whose birthday is when or something like that. Something going on with somebody's memory or somebody trying to figure something out or remember something. Um, it could be concerning several different people or several diff several people's birthdays or something like that. Something like that going on. So anyway, so I'm also put you guys for this, a display card. I'm gonna pick you guys a practical card. We're gonna see what spirit is suggesting for you guys to do practical in September. All right, what positive changes could Libra expect in September? Healing from the past. So Libra, you or somebody else might experience healing from the past. Libra, you might also get some type of truth. Like they say, the truth shall set you free. So for some of y'all, this healing from the past is you receiving some type of truth. And once you get this truth, you're going to be able to heal. Yeah, so I heard the truth. So you're going to get some type of truth pertaining to the past or something. But nonetheless, Libra, you're he some type of healing from the past, you or somebody else. Positive changes. Libra, you can have Gemini placements or you can be dealing with a Gemini. All right, give me one more for Libra. Positive changes Libra can expect in September. And we have spiritual growth. Yeah. This could also be forgiveness. So Libra, you might forgive somebody else or somebody might forgive you. And it's going to aid in um, somebody's spiritual growth for the better. And for some of you guys, this is about forgiveness. All right. And I want to say, too, I, I have my own personal reasons. Why I could have got excited in y'all energy. I'm not going to get into much into detail about that. But I don't think it was only for my personal reasons. I think it was just a message like an omen or an intuitive message or intuitive energy. But I do want to say that though. I have my own personal reasons why I could have gotten happy or excited in y'all energy. But I don't think it was only pertaining to me as well. I don't think it was only about my personal situation. But anyway, what is spirit suggesting practical practical for Libra in um, September? Own your power. And then we have the root chakra. Root chakra is out of balance. So um, Libra, it could be your root chakra or somebody else's root chakra. Spirit wants somebody to know that. Somebody root chakra out of balance. All right, so own your power. Fix the external by changing changing the internal. Own your power. So Libra, you might have to forgive someone to take your power back. Some type of some type of forgiveness for most of you guys. Fix the external by changing the internal. Own your power. So this is what spirit wants you guys to do practical. For some of y'all, it could be like forgive forgiving yourself or somebody else. <clears throat> own your power. All right. So, what's Libra's angel answer for September? What is Libra's angel answer? Okay, so it's coming out sideways. Uh, within the next few months, I mean, within the next few weeks. So, um, Libra, for some of you guys, this coming out sideways, um, it's something is dependent upon you. Like, something can happen within the next few months, but it depends on you. Like, something that you do, um, something that you do or you're not going to do in September. So, it can happen within the next few months, but it, it's depending upon you. But I'm going to still put, mm, no, I'm going to leave it sideways. But I'm going to still read it. So that's your angel answer within the next few months. But it's depending upon you. What you do or don't do. Or something like that. Alright. 
そうWell, you ask about what happened this month or soon or soon thereafter. Your patience is re is rewarded. Well, you ask about what will happen this month or soon thereafter. Your patience is rewarded. So Libra, if you want your patience to be rewarded this month or in the near future after this month, it's something that you're going to have to do in September. That's if you want your patience to be rewarded. For some of you guys, something, this could be divine timing coming out sideways. And something is getting delayed for a reason. So you might not, um, something might not happen in um, September. It could happen like in October or something. So the divine timing might delay something. Something could either, Libra, a situation is in your control. It's up to you. For other you guys, I'm picking up something that's divine timing. And something might get delayed because of divine timing. And it might happen for you guys in October instead of uh, September or something like that. For some of y'all, I heard this is like your birthday party or something. This is, this is like a birthday party. So Libra, your birthday party or birthday planning might not work out how you wanted it to. So, say like um, you was looking for a venue or a building to host your birthday party. It's like, mm, maybe the building or the venue is booked in September. And it's like you might be able to get an opportunity in October. You could have waited too late to like um, do something. So, maybe September is booked up or something like that. So something is going to happen, but for some of you guys, because of divine timing, it's not going to happen until like October or, you know, whenever. All right. What is um, Libra's advice in September? <laughs> What's Libra's advice? What is Libra's advice? Ooh. Denial. I acknowledge my fear, but but I re I replace it with the insight of awareness. So Libra, maybe Spirit wants you to come out of denial about something. Spirit wants you to acknowledge your fear. So Libra, what it is? What what is it that you fear? When you figure out what it is that you fear, spirit wants you to replace your fear with the insight of awareness. So I'm hearing don't get don't get fearful, get get to knowing. So it's something spirit wants you to know. Don't get into fear, get into knowing. So Libra, it could be something that you don't want to deal with. This could be a doctor's appointment. It's like you don't want to go do the testing cuz you don't want to know the results. Or something. I'm giving that for an example. Something like that could be going on. It's something you don't want to deal with. Like the answer to something, the answer. So it's like you avoid it out of fear. You avoid something out of fear. So spirit, somebody, spirit wants you to face your fears in September. Or figure out what you're afraid of. Get down to the bottom of something. So what are you afraid of? Spirit wants you to acknowledge it. Acknowledge your fear. Then replace it with the insight of awareness. All right. All right. What's the guy's message for Libra in September? So y'all could be in denial about something. Y'all be careful because sometimes denial, I mean, y'all probably already know, but I'm still going to say it. 
the nail could be a little tricky sometimes, especially if you like not tapped in. Um, the nail can go over your head. It could be tricky. That's the point of denial. It's like you're you don't know you're in denial. When a person is in denial, for the most part, they don't know, especially the beginning stages of denial. People don't know when they're in denial. That's why it's called denial. So you guys could be coming out of denial in September or spirit wants you to realize or consider the fact that you're in denial about something. He wants you to consider it. If you don't realize it, he wants you to consider it. Because it's true. Some of y'all in denial about something. Yeah, follow the golden rule. So Libra, yeah. It's coming out sideways. So, so Libra, I, I'm picking up initially, intuitively. Libra, you could be wrong about something. And you didn't want to accept it. Or Libra, you could have made a mistake in September on the past. And you don't want to accept that you were wrong. Or you made a mistake or something. So it's like Libra, somebody in your energy, they're not really following the golden rule. And it's because of you. It's like Libra, I'm picking up when you change, this person going to change. It's like when you change... It's like this person go going to upright and they're going to they're going to follow the golden rule. This person is going to start treating you how you want to be treated. Libra, maybe you don't realize that you're not treating someone how you, you're not treating an individual how this individual want to be treated. You're not following the golden rule, so this person is not. Um also to me, follow the golden rule is honesty is the best policy sometimes. So Libra, somebody is not doing something because of you. So, because why is your angel answer coming out sideways and your message from the guide coming out sideways? And But Libra, you in denial. And Spirit wants you to come out of denial. Something. So Libra, you or somebody else could be wrong. Or Libra, if somebody is wrong regarding you, it's like... It's like Libra, you could have accepted responsibility for something that's not, that's not your fault. something and spirit wants you to stop doing that or Libra you you wrong in the situation and you in denial about that or something so Libra you could be mistreating somebody and not realize it and that's why this person be doing stuff to you because you be doing it to them and Libra you don't realize it or something like that or Libra like I said y'all could be dealing with another Libra <laughs> y'all could be dealing with another Libra and Libra, whatever you be doing to this person, this person, like, give you the same energy. Or maybe you be unconsciously or subconsciously, like, finessing someone or being unfair to someone. And this person is aware of it or something like that going on, Libra. So Libra, this is, could be something that simple. Libra, for some of y'all, y'all could be married. And Libra, your spouse could be lying to you because you lying to them. Like something like that. Or Libra, you can you could be in a authoritative position, a leadership position. And it's like Libra, the, the, the people that's under you or the person that's under, under you, they're not going to follow the golden rule until you follow the golden rule. Something like that. Or leader or um Libra, you could be like uh, a manager of some sort. And it's like your employers mess up because it's like you don't have your your man manager skills in order or something like that. Or something. Something. Or, lead, or Libra, if you're dealing with an employer, your manager, it's like, Libra, maybe you have to confront somebody and tell somebody the truth. This could be your manager. And it's like, Libra, you might tell your manager, I'm messing up because you messing me up. So it's like, Libra, your manager is not going to change for the better until you confront this person or tell the truth or tell somebody how you really feel. And that's when this is going to go on the upright. 
or something. Somebody's in a position of leadership or authority or something. It could be in marriage or in business or something. Or this could be parent and child relationship. This could be parenting or something like that. Yeah, that intuition. The red flags you ignore now will come back to bite later. Yeah, so Libra, it's something that you shouldn't ignore in September. Regarding yourself or somebody else. I keep hearing get down to the bottom of it. Get to the bottom of it. All right. Give me a message for Libra. Give it time. Everything in divine timing, let things flow. So Libra, you or somebody else need to be patient in September. Everything in divine time and let things flow. No, yeah, it's not the right time. So for most of you guys, your angel is coming out sideways because of divine timing. Yeah. Yeah, so um, Libra, you could be dealing with an earth sign or you could have earth placements, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Patience is earthly. So this don't have to necessarily be like a person. It's earth sign. This could be like practical energy. Being patient. Being grounded. Um, yeah, or something like that. Or this could have something to do with somebody's uh, employment. Practical energy could be employment. Or should I say earthly energy. So um, Libra, you or somebody else need to be patient. Because September is not the right time. This could also be for protection as well. So, I'm going to give an example. Libra, say like you're trying to plan your birthday party. <clears throat> and um, you calling around and all the places you want to have your birthday party at, everything booked. And Libra, you could be saying, wow, I did, I did this last year and I didn't have this problem. So, Libra, you could have planned your birthday party last year and it was like everything was available. It's like... Everything was available. Nobody was booked. But this year, you go to book your birthday party and everything booked. It's like they telling you you have to wait until October. Libra, that could be for divine protection. For whatever reason, spirit don't want you throwing your birthday party in September. It could be for divine protection or something like that. I also just saw, Libra, for some of you guys... It don't have to be for a birthday party, but Libra, you want to spend money on something. You want to spend money and spirit going to delay you because he wants you to work a little bit more, like get more money before you spend this money. So Libra, say like you trying to go on vacation and you want to do it now, but it's like, if you do it now, when you get off of, from your vacation, you're not going to have no money. And it's like spirit going to fix it to where you have to go to work. You got to work another month and put that money up. So when you come back from your vacation, you have like some some spending money or something. But if you was to do it your way, you would have went on this vacation whether you had spending money or not when you got back home. It's like you just was going to go on vacation or something like that. But I just saw that. Spirit wants somebody to work a little bit more. Yeah. So, somebody going to have to be patient because September is not the time. It's not the right time. Here we have confession here. Someone has to tell you something. Yep. So, I'm going to give an example. Um, Libra, say like you married and you're dealing with your spouse. And you could have been planning for like a vacation or something like that. But Libra, I'm hearing better now than never. It's like, Libra, say like your spouse want to tell you that they have like a health condition or they were cheating on you. It's like, Libra, you, it's best that this person tell you in September that they have a health condition or that they're cheating on you before you go on vacation with your spouse and your spouse break the news to you while y'all on vacation. Like something like that. Because somebody has a confession. <laughs> Somebody might also have a health scare. 
And we got health at the bottom of the deck. Somebody might have a health scare. Well, somebody could be pregnant. Libra, I don't know if you're pregnant and you wanted to travel out of the country. And your doctor might advise you not to travel out of the country until after you give birth or something. So something might happen unexpectedly. Somebody might find out they're pregnant. And it's going to prevent you from doing something that you wanted to do. Or Libra, somebody got something to tell you. This could be your doctors. Somebody might tell you you're pregnant or your spouse or your lover want to tell you something. It's like, it's best that you know this, what this confession is now. You, it's like, you, you supposed to know what this confession is now. Like, spirit wants something revealed to you in September. Before you go any further with a person, place, or a thing. Yeah, or something like that. So, I heard somebody got something to tell you. Oh, I heard Libra, why is somebody delaying something for you? Somebody could be delaying something for you. And it's because they have something to tell you. Or the universe is delaying something because the universe is aware that somebody has something to tell you. All right. What's going on for Libra in September? Yeah, the Ten of Cups coming out sideways. Yeah. And then we got the moon. So I heard when the moon came out, I heard Libra respect someone's honesty, respect someone's honesty. So I'm going to give an example. This is just an example. Um, I'm not saying this is literally going to happen, but I'm just giving an example of the energy that I picked up when the moon came out. Libra, say like you somebody fiance. And your lover want to confess to you that. They're in love with you and somebody else. It's like, Libra, somebody not sure who they love or this somebody not sure if they want to get married. So it's like, Libra, your lover might tell you the truth. Like, they're not sure. Or Libra, maybe you're, Libra, if you a female, your spouse might tell you that they're not sure if the baby is theirs. It's like somebody going to tell you the truth, how they really feel, whether it's true or not. And it's like, Libra, I heard respect someone's honesty. Like how this person truly feel about something. So Libra, your spouse or your fiance might tell you, I, I, I'm not ready for marriage. I don't think I'm ready for marriage. Or somebody not, or a man is not sure that a baby is his. Or um, something like that. It's like the Ten of Cups is coming out sideways. Somebody not sure if somebody's their family. If they're ready for marriage. This could be uh, paternity or something like that. Yeah, because Libra, somebody could have been keeping secrets from you or something. The moon. Or this is conception. The moon could also be conception. Or somebody not sure if they're pregnant or not. So Libra, you could be a man and your wife or your child's mother or this woman... She could be acting funny. That's because she thinks she's pregnant or something. Libra, if you a man, it could be a woman around you. She might be. Or something. Somebody not sure if they pregnant. Libra, if you a man, this woman. Or Libra, um, you could be going through a divorce and your soon-to-be ex-wife is like, she, you might get her pregnant or something. Or something. Or maybe somebody third party might end up pregnant or something. Somebody could also be on the verge of like a, a, a breakdown, a, a nervous breakdown or something. So somebody need to be careful of being like the third party or being a rebound. It's like somebody is in a relationship with somebody, but they miss somebody else. It's like somebody going to break or they going to crack. Or somebody going to go back to their ex or something. Unexpectedly or something like that. 
Is somebody going through an identity crisis or something? Or this could be like a set of twins. And I don't know who the karmic is. Libra, I don't know if you're the karmic. Or your twins third party is the karmic. It's like either somebody is not over a karmic cycle. And somebody twin might go back to their karmic. Or somebody twin is with the karmic. And they really want to reunite with their twin. Like something like that could be going on. So we have the Ten Cups, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, the Moon is Cancer and or Pisces, mainly mainly Cancer. So somebody could be dealing with a Cancer, uh, Libra, you could be dealing with a lot of water signs as well. Somebody could be a water sign cusp and you dealing with a Cancer. And another person could be a water sign cusp. Or Libra, you could be dealing with like a half, uh, somebody could be an in-law to you. Or you could be dealing with a half-sibling or something like that. Or a step-parent or something like that. Ooh. Yeah, we got the Ace of Cups. Yeah, somebody might be in a... Somebody might be in a feeling. This is self-love, self-awareness. Or this could be somebody bawling, crying their eyes out. Somebody is like... Inconsolable. See, this one, somebody might have like an emotional or a nervous breakdown. Because somebody want to confess something. <clears throat> so Libra, you might get in this Ace of Cups energy. Or the person that want to confess something to you is in this Ace of Cups energy or something. Or Libra, I don't know if your lover's third party or if your lover's karmic is a cancer. Or Pisces or something. Libra, if you the third party, be careful. Cause it's like Libra, your um lover could be married and him and his spouse or her spouse was on the verge of divorce, but somebody might abruptly change their mind and say, No, I'm not I'm divorcing my spouse, we stand together. So Libra, if you the third party expect the unexpected. Libra, if you're not the third party and this you or your spouse that was um, wanted to divorce, somebody might change their mind and um, reject the third party. I see that too. Or somebody might confess their love to someone or something. So somebody going to be un inconsolable, crying, wailing. Or somebody so hurt that they can't cry. Because this Ace of Cups, um, usually the Ace of Cups is like the water is overflowing. So it's like, some if this is like somebody being inconsolable, it's like this person, it's like they can't cry, but they're hurt. Somebody hurt, but it's like, this could be a man, a masculine. This Ace of Cups, a water sign man, a water sign masculine. It's like this man hurt, but he can't cry. I just heard that Jay-Z song. I can't see him coming down my eyes, so I got to make the song cry. Something like that could be going on. Yeah, so. Yep. Something could also be going on in the bedroom or something. Something like that. It's a change in the bedroom for the worse or the better. And I'm going to just leave it at that. All right. What's the spell with Ten of Cups coming out sideways? Libra, it could be a Cancer that don't want to tell you something or Pisces. A Cancer or Pisces um, or your secret enemy could be keeping secrets from you. Um, for most of y'all, this is this moon energy is not a secret enemy. It's just somebody keeping secrets. So Libra, it's something somebody want to tell you. It's not the right time because maybe a Cancer or Pisces want to tell you something. Or something. Yeah, something like that. So we got the ninth house. 
Sagittarius energy. So this situation involves someone's belief systems, religion, and ideologies, higher learning, travel, philosophies. So, mm, I, is the ninth house similar to the fruit chakra? If I'm not mistaken, I think that ninth house is almost similar to, to like the root chakra. Like what the root chakra represents. So Libra, you can have water placement. Specifically Cancer or Pisces, you can have water placement. You can have water in your ninth house or Sagittarius in your ninth house. I mean, or Sagittarius in your moon or water in your moon or something. Libra. Because somebody root chakra out of balance. And the root chakra could also be concerned in like intercourse as well. So it's a need for somebody to be honest. Libra in September, you might have a one-on-one uh, -on -one conversation with somebody. And it's a need for you and or this person to just be honest, put everything on the table and just get everything out. A lover could be turned off by something. Um, yeah, somebody, something going on with somebody's ninth house. Someone's belief system, religion, and ideologies, higher learning, travel, philosophies. And because of somebody's ninth house, it's like somebody's not sure if a baby is theirs, if they want to get married, who they love. Or Libra, somebody not sure if you love them. Or Libra, you not sure if somebody love you. It's because of y'all ninth house. So somebody got to get something off their chest. It's because of the ninth. Somebody's ninth house is causing them um, to be insecure about something or to doubt something. Or this could be somebody could have. Somebody might find out that they got another sibling, another. Um, Cause it could have been somebody's ninth house. It could have been a man that believed in having several several wives. So Libra, you or somebody else in your energy might find out they have step uh, step siblings or something like more siblings because of somebody's ninth house. Cause somebody's belief system or religion is like this person believe in having multiple wives or something like that. All right, what's the story with the moon? So some of y'all might find out about more family. Y'all have more family or siblings or something like that. We have money problems. Yeah. So Libra, maybe somebody can't afford something. And that's why I heard and I saw in the cards, that's, I, I saw somebody being redirected to go back to work. <laughs> It's like somebody was trying to do something, but it's like the universe, the universe going to step in. It's like somebody, spirit is like, no, you need to work a little bit more or save up a little bit more money or something like that. So Libra, you could be planning to do something with a cancer or a Pisces. Libra, is you that have money problems or is this moon energy that got money problems and maybe this person didn't want to tell you. Libra, you could be a female and you dealing with a masculine and this man didn't want to tell you that his money not right. So it's like your lover could be to keep delaying something. And he don't want to tell you that the money messed up or he messed up the money or something. So something like that could be going on. Someone could be indebted to their credit cards, burning through cash, irresponsible with money. Or Libra, somebody think you stole something. So something could have got missing. And Libra, somebody is suspicious of you. They think you did it or something. And this person might confess to you that they think you're the one who did this to them or something. Or something. What's this girl with the ace of cups? What's this girl with the ace of cups? 
Oops. Oh, Libra, I also just saw, too, the moon energy could be... Libra, say like you're trying to book a venue for your birthday party. It's like, Libra, something could be going on with this business owner, this person that owned this venue. And it's like, Libra, spirit wants you to wait because this person might overcharge you. Because they having money problems. So it's like, Libra, say like this person owned this venue. And um, you want to book your birthday party. And it's like, normally, to rent out this venue, it's like two fifty. But it's like, Libra, because this business owner is going through uh, money problems, it's like this person going to try to charge you four fifty, Or it's like, Libra, even if you book this venue, because this owner, this business owner is having money problems, it's like, Libra, your birthday party guest didn't do no damage to this person's property. But this person might lie on you because they want money. They need money. So spirit could be protecting you from somebody that uh, really want to offend you or lie on you because they have money problems. It's like Libra, if you book your birthday party at this venue, this business owner is like your, you and your guests didn't tear up anything. But this business owner going to like set you up and say you you broke this, you broke that, and try to take you to court or something. Because they want money or they need money or something. Yeah, so Libra, somebody could be going through something that you don't know about. And Spirit could be protecting you, keeping you away from this person. Because it's like they will lie on you. Like It's like this person will lie on you because they have money problems. So they can come, so they can stop having money problems at your expense or something like that. Yeah, somebody's not like an honest person or something. Libra, if you plan on traveling out of the country or something, be mindful of like um, resorts or islands or things like that. It's like this resort or this island it could be infected with something. It could be infected with bed bugs, COVID. But it's like because this business owner needs the money, they're not going to tell you that their resort is infected with like a disease or some bed bugs or something because they just want the money. So spirit could might delay something for you or block you. Yeah, something like that going on. Or Libra, somebody going to reveal a secret to you. So Libra, if you keep pressing the issue about something that don't seem right, somebody might come tell you. It's like this person not going to tell other people, but they going to tell you. So Libra, say like you trying to book a venue or you trying to go on vacation. And Libra, you saying, I come here every year. What you mean I can't have my birthday party or I can't come to this resort? I know so-and-so. I know the business owner. I know the person who owned it. What's going on? What you mean y'all not accepting my debit card? I have money on my debit card. So why are you telling me that my debit card is being rejected? What do you... That's not true. And Libra, somebody in a professional re, arena might just tell you. This person might say, look, your debit card didn't get rejected, but our company, like our resort or the hotel is infested with bed bugs. Or something. It's like somebody didn't want to tell you, but they might tell you. So this could be in a business arena. It's like th these people didn't want like the public to know that their hotel is infested with bed bugs. Or something like that. Or something. So Libra, out of respect for you, this person might tell you the truth. Or something like that. Or to just ease your mind. Or this person don't want to hear your mouth. So they just might. It's like Libra. This person. Libra. If you tell somebody. You know what? Make it make sense. Libra. This person going to make it make sense. Yeah. So what's this spell with the Ace of Cups? Somebody going to make it make sense. And it's a confession. Why somebody acting a certain type of way. Or doing something. Yeah. Third party situation. Third party interference. This could be another lover. Friends. Or meddling family. Or Libra, somebody knows something that you didn't know or you know something that somebody else don't know. 
It's like, Libra, you can have a whole nother sibling. And this person knew all the time who you was, but you didn't know who this person was or something like that. So somebody could be crying because of a third party situation in love. Or somebody's family member starting trouble or something like that. Or Libra, somebody going to tell you, is somebody close to you that offended you or something? It could have been like one of your lovers, a friend, or your meddling family that did something. It could have been your half, your half family, your step family, or something like that, or your extended family or something. Or this is the person that's confessing something to you. It could be a third party. Or your family or something. Or something. Something like that going on. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so I'm going to end it. Something like that going on. Something could be going on with somebody's 10th house or a Capricorn. Okay. So let me hold on. Let me see something. All right. So what I'm picking up because of somebody's 9th house. Somebody's not sure. But because of somebody's 10th house, somebody going to tell the truth. Or a Capricorn going to make somebody tell the truth. Or somebody going to tell the truth because of their Capricorn placement. Or their 10th house. It's like, Libra, say like somebody got to tell you something. They're not sure because of their ninth house. Somebody's not sure about something because of their ninth house. But it's like, Libra, this person got to say something to you because of their 10th house. Like them practicing self-love or you practicing self-love. But it's like their 10th house made them do this. And this could be like, like I said, this could be in the business arena. It's like this person, it's like they know they owe it to you to tell you the truth and stop making you think it's your debit card declining. Because it's like, Libra, this, this, yeah, this could be in business. This 10th house. These people better tell you the truth. It's them and not you. So somebody could be saying, oh, it's your bank. It's your debit card. And all along, it's like, these people got bed bugs or something. Yeah, something like that. So somebody know it's best to, like, confess something to you. Or a Capricorn going to make somebody tell you the truth about something. <clears throat> or this person's um, Capricorn placement or something like that. So that's something like that going on. So... This is um, Blood Queen Tarot. And um, Libra, uh, enjoy. Oh, this is Blood Queen Tarot. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and or share. And Libra, enjoy the, um, the month of September. Something going on with somebody's memory. <laughs> Libra, I'm forgetting. <laughs> and y'all energy. So, Libra, it could be you or somebody else forgetting. <laughs> Being forgetful. Yeah, so I'm going to just end it.